step into a fascinating realm where history meets the present as we envision iconic figures from the past, navigating the complexities of modern life. Experience the reinterpretation of historical leaders, thinkers, and visionaries in modern settings, delving into their impact on the dynamic landscape of today's world. Joan of Arc, a 15th century French military leader, reimagined in the present, becomes a bold activist combating modern injustices. Born in 1412, she emerged as a charismatic influencer and gender equality advocate, utilizing social media to champion her cause. Guided by visions, she leads justice movements, challenging oppressive systems, and mirroring her canonization in 1920 with contemporary widespread recognition making her a digital age icon of courage and independence. Agrippina the Younger. A modern woman and political influencer from a powerful lineage, she married a prominent figure in 49 AD, strategically propelling her son into the spotlight. Her beauty and distinctive dental features couldn't prevent the deterioration of their once strong connection, ultimately resulting in her premature death in 59 AD. Terracotta Archer. Transformed into a contemporary marvel, the terracotta archer symbolizes artistic brilliance and ancient military precision. Unearthed in 1974 near Xi'an, China, this life-size statue now enthralls audiences at the Museum of the Terracotta Army, part of the UNESCO-listed tomb of China's first emperor of Qin. The site reveals over 8,000 soldiers, meticulously crafted in an undiscovered imperial workshop. Stamped with craftsmen's names, each figure showcases a captivating blend of standardized parts, creating an illusion of individuality. Charlotte Bronte. Picture the eminent English novelist as a contemporary literary sensation. Born in 1816, she enchants readers with timeless classics like Jane Eyre, originally published under the gender-neutral pen named Currer Bell. After briefly teaching, Bronte, along with her sisters, transitions from failed school endeavors to literary triumph, revealing their true identities in 1848. Despite a promising marriage, her life tragically ends in 1855, leaving an indelible mark on modern literature. Emperor Augustus. Born Gaius Octavius in 63 BC, reimagined as a modern statesman, Augustus founded the Roman Empire, reigning from 27 BC to 14 AD and bringing about the Pax Romagna. Inheriting Julius Caesar's legacy, he formed the Second Triumvirate, restored the Roman Republic's facade, expanded the empire, reformed taxation, and left a lasting legacy dying at 75. Saladin. Born in 1137, Saladin, a Kurdish leader, rises as a modern political and military strategist, becoming the first sultan of Egypt and Syria. Leading Muslims during the Third Crusade, he reshapes Muslim dominance in the Levant, aligns Egypt with the Sunni Abbasid Caliphate, and abolishes the Shia Muslim Fatimid Caliphate. His conquests and victory at the Battle of Hatton leave a celebrated legacy in Kurdish, Turkic, and Arab cultures. He died in 1193. Napoleon Bonaparte. As a modern leader, rising from Corsican nobility, Napoleon shapes global affairs. Supporting the French Revolution, he ascended military ranks, becoming emperor in 1804. Despite criticism, he's hailed as a military genius, leaving a lasting legacy through modernizing reforms, the Louisiana Purchase, and a controversial role in the Napoleonic Wars. Exiled twice, he died in 1821. Alexander the Great. Born in 356 BC, Alexander, reimagined as a modern conqueror, leads a dynamic life. Conquering Western and Central Asia, South Asia, and Egypt, he asserts control over Thrace, launches a pan-Hellenic project, and invades Persia in 334 BC. Tutored by Aristotle, he defeats Darius III, creating a vast empire from Greece to India. His legacy includes cultural diffusion, city foundations, and Hellenistic influence. His death in 323 BC sparks civil wars, marking the start of the Hellenistic period. Alexander's enduring successes make him a legendary classical hero, influencing Greek and non-Greek cultures and inspiring military leaders worldwide. Vlad the Impaler. Known as Vlad Dracula, he emerges as a modern enigmatic ruler, Born in 1428, navigating political turmoil, he becomes the voivode of Wallachia. A hostage in the Ottoman Empire, he rises to power, instigating purges and facing conflicts with Transylvanian Saxons. Notorious for impalements, he defies the Ottoman Sultan, earning a fearsome reputation. 
Despite imprisonment, he returns to fight, meeting his demise in 1477. Vlad's cruelty inspires lasting tales, notably influencing Bram Stoker's Count Dracula. Mansa Musa Reigning from C1312 to C1337, reimagined in modern times, he symbolizes Mali's zenith of power. Considered among history's wealthiest, the sources of his fortune are uncertain. Musa, of the Mali Empire, thrived on salt and gold trade, expanding borders and fostering ties with the Muslim world. His impactful Hajj to Mecca in 1324 influenced gold value and promoted Islamic learning. Musa's legacy includes diverse constructions and the flourishing of Timbuktu, Eleanor of Aquitaine. Living in modern times was a powerful and influential figure from 1124 to 1204. As Duchess of Aquitaine and later Queen of France and England, she wielded significant wealth and authority. Known for her support of the arts and patronage of poets, she played key roles in military endeavors, including the Second Crusade. Her tumultuous marriages and involvement in political intrigues shaped her legacy as one of the most notable women of the High Middle Ages. Nefertiti A captivating queen around 1370 to 1330 BC, she reshaped ancient Egypt's religious landscape with Pharaoh Akhenaten. Pioneering Atonism, an early form of monotheism centered on the sun disk, they ruled during Egypt's opulent period. Some suggest Nefertiti briefly ruled as Pharaoh Neferneferuaten post Akhenaten, the iconic bust in Berlin's Neues Museum, attributed to sculptor Thutmose, immortalizes her and remains a widely replicated artwork. Marcus Aurelius. Roman emperor from 161 to 180 and a Stoic philosopher, Marcus Aurelius, represents the zenith of the Nerva Antonine dynasty, the five good emperors, and the Pax Romana. Raised by his mother and grandfather, he studied under renowned tutors like Herodes Atticus. After marrying Faustina, he co-ruled with adoptive brother Lucius Verus, facing challenges with the Parthians, Armenians, and Germanic tribes during the Marcomannic Wars. The Antonine Plague struck during his reign. His vital work, Meditations, remains a notable source of ancient Stoic philosophy, Lady of Elche. A limestone bust discovered in 1897 at La Alcudia, Spain, reflects Iberian artistry from the 4th century BC. Exhibited in the National Archaeological Museum of Spain, it's associated with Tanit, the Carthaginian goddess. The colored bust depicts a woman wearing an intricate headdress with wheel-like coils, possibly part of a funerary urn. Discovered by Manuel Campello Esclapes, it was nicknamed Moorish Queen. The find site has evidence of an Iberian Punic settlement and a Christian basilica from the 5th century. Anne Boleyn Queen of England from 1533 to 1536 navigated the political and religious turmoil of the English Reformation. Born into the Boleyn family, she was initially engaged to her Irish cousin, but later served as a maid of honor to Queen Claude of France. After a secret courtship with Henry VIII, she became Marquess of Pembroke and eventually Queen. Anne faced charges of adultery, incest, and treason, leading to her beheading in 1536. Posthumously, she gained recognition as a martyr and heroine of the English Reformation. Pocahontas Born around 1596 near Jamestown, Virginia played a pivotal role in fostering peace between English settlers and Native Americans. As a Powhatan woman, she befriended the Jamestown colonists, even saving John Smith's life in 1607. Despite being captured by the English in 1613, she maintained her significance as a bridge between cultures. Pocahontas, known for her playful nature, remains an enduring figure symbolizing diplomacy and connection in the complex history of early American encounters. Bull Bear, chief of the Oglala Sioux tribe, comes to life through Alfred Jacob Miller's sketches. In this distinguished portrait, Matau Tathanka, or Bull Bear, represents the Oglala Sioux's southward migration in 1834. This journey created tension among tribes in the Laramie Plain, historically a shared hunting ground. Miller's depiction captures the essence of Bull Bear, a notable leader met by the artist during a westward journey near Fort Laramie in 1841, years before the chief's tragic murder. Mona Lisa. Leonardo da Vinci's archetypal masterpiece takes on a modern allure. This half-length portrait, renowned for its enigmatic expression and atmospheric illusionism, was traditionally thought to depict Italian noblewoman Lisa del Giocondo. Painted between 1503 and 1506, it now graces the Louvre in Paris since 1797. Beyond its artistry, the Mona Lisa gained global fame when stolen in 1911 and later recovered. With a valuation of $1 billion, 
it remains one of the world's most valuable paintings. Queen Victoria, a modern powerhouse living in the 21st century, originally Queen of the United Kingdom, she reigned for an impressive 63 years, marking the renowned Victorian era. Known for navigating industrial and political change, Victoria expanded the British Empire, earning her the title of Empress of India. Today, in our hypothetical contemporary world, Victoria balances influence with a strong sense of personal morality. Her legacy endures as the iconic Grandmother of Europe, emphasizing her enduring impact on royal and noble lineages. Thomas Jefferson a dynamic figure thriving in the modern era, known for his multifaceted roles as a statesman, architect, and founding father, Jefferson reshaped the course of history as the third president of the United States. In today's context, his strategic defense of trade interests, Western expansion policies like the Louisiana Purchase, and advocacy for religious freedom remain commendable. Despite controversies over slavery, Jefferson's impactful contributions continue to influence democracy, individual rights, and the nation's core principles. Richard III, a king navigating the complexities of modern times, once the last monarch of the Plantagenet dynasty, he now grapples with the challenges of political intrigue. Elevated to power in 1483, he faced rebellion and controversy, notably the disappearance of the princes in the tower. In a climactic twist, Henry Tudor's forces prevailed at the Battle of Bosworth, marking Richard's demise. Rediscovered in 2012, Richard III's remains were reinterred in Leicester Cathedral in 2015, unveiling historical mysteries in the present day. Lucrezia Borgia, a captivating figure of the Renaissance, navigates the modern world with her intriguing history. Born into the House of Borgia in 1480, she defied norms, governing Spoleto independently. Her marriages, orchestrated for political gains, were entwined with controversies, notably the mysterious death of Alfonso of Aragon. Today, she endures as a femme fatale, inspiring numerous artworks, novels, and films, her legacy echoing through time, challenging perceptions, and inviting reinterpretation. Jane Austen. The timeless literary luminary is reimagined in the present, revered for insightful novels critiquing the British landed gentry. Austen's astute commentary on women's dependence, economic security, and social status through marriage resonates today, with her anonymously published works gaining modest recognition. A posthumous surge led by Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, Mansfield Park, and Emma cemented her literary legacy. Her enduring influence extends into contemporary films, ensuring her words echo through the ages. Frederick Douglass. A prominent 19th century advocate for African-American civil rights, Frederick Douglass emerged from slavery in Maryland, becoming a leading abolitionist in Massachusetts and New York. His influential oratory and anti-slavery writings, especially his autobiographies, continue to resonate, shaping present-day activism with a focus on dialogue and alliances across racial and ideological lines. Leonardo da Vinci. Hailing from Vinci, Italy, a high Renaissance luminary transcends historical boundaries. This polymath, educated by Andrea del Verrocchio, flourished in Milan, Florence, and briefly Rome. Recognized for masterpieces like the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, he's not just an artistic genius, but a visionary inventor, symbolizing humanist ideals. Thomas Jefferson, a dynamic figure thriving in the modern era, known for his multifaceted roles as a statesman, architect, and founding father, Jefferson reshaped the course of history as the third president of the United States. In today's context, his strategic defense of trade interests, Western expansion policies like the Louisiana Purchase, and advocacy for religious freedom remain commendable. Despite controversies over slavery, Jefferson's impactful contributions continue to influence democracy, individual rights, and the nation's core principles. Richard III, a king navigating the complexities of modern times, once the last monarch of the Plantagenet dynasty, he now grapples with the challenges of political intrigue. Elevated to power in 1483, he faced rebellion and controversy, notably the disappearance of the princes in the tower. In a climactic twist, Henry Tudor's forces prevailed at the Battle of Bosworth, marking Richard's demise. Rediscovered in 2012, Richard III's remains were reinterred in Leicester Cathedral in 2015, unveiling historical mysteries in the present day. Lucrezia Borgia, a captivating figure of the Renaissance, navigates the modern world with her intriguing history. Born into the House of Borgia in 1480, she defied norms, governing Spoleto independently. 
Her marriages, orchestrated for political gains, were entwined with controversies, notably the mysterious death of Alfonso of Aragon. Today, she endures as a femme fatale, inspiring numerous artworks, novels, and films, her legacy echoing through time, challenging perceptions, and inviting reinterpretation. Jane Austen, the timeless literary luminary, is reimagined in the present, revered for insightful novels critiquing the British landed gentry. Austen's astute commentary on women's dependence and social status through marriage resonates today, with her anonymously published works gaining modest recognition. A posthumous surge led by Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, Mansfield Park, and Emma cemented her literary legacy. Her enduring influence extends into contemporary films, ensuring her words echo through the ages. Frederick Douglass, a prominent 19th century advocate for African-American civil rights, Frederick Douglass emerged from slavery in Maryland, becoming a leading abolitionist in Massachusetts and New York. His influential oratory and anti-slavery writings, especially his autobiographies, continue to resonate, shaping present-day activism with a focus on dialogue and alliances across racial and ideological lines. Leonardo da Vinci. Hailing from Vinci, Italy, a high Renaissance luminary transcends historical boundaries. This polymath, educated by Andrea del Verrocchio, flourished in Milan, Florence, and briefly Rome. Recognized for masterpieces like the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, he's not just an artistic genius, but a visionary inventor, symbolizing humanist ideals. Sejong the Great. Born as Yido Sejong, the fourth monarch of Korea's Joseon dynasty, reimagined in the modern era, transcends time as a revered leader. Renowned for innovation, he transforms the nation, introducing Hangul, the Korean alphabet, and implementing progressive policies, leaving an indelible mark on Korean history. Polacarpa Salavarieta. As a contemporary symbol of courage, La Pola, a neo-granadine seamstress, defied Spanish rule during the Reconquista. Executed for espionage, she stands as a beacon of Colombian independence, honored on Colombian Women's Day for her sacrifice and resilience in the fight for freedom. Mozart. Reborn in our era, Mozart enchants the world anew with his musical brilliance. Born in Austria, his prodigious talent emerged at five. His grand European tour captivated royalty. Dismissed from Salzburg, he faced financial challenges in Vienna, yet produced 800 masterpieces, defining Western classical music. Today, his melodies immortalize him among musical legends. Anne of Cleves. Anne, a modern woman, briefly became Henry VIII's fourth wife in 1540 initially betrothed to Francis, Duke of Bar. The marriage, starting in January 1540, quickly concluded. Despite being dubbed the king's beloved sister, Anne, with an unconsummated union, witnessed the reigns of Edward VI and Mary I, outlasting her peers. Elizabeth Bathory. A Hungarian noblewoman in the Bathory family's Slovakian estate faced accusations of serial murder from 1590 to 1610. Despite her servants' convictions, Bathory, the alleged mastermind, was mysteriously imprisoned in Captai's castle until her death. Historians debate the charges, attributing them to a witch hunt or orchestrations to curb her family's influence. Legends link her to vampiric acts and Bram Stoker's Dracula. Marie Antoinette. Marie Antoinette, born into Austrian nobility, faced a tumultuous life during the French Revolution. Married at 14 to Louis XVI, she became the Queen of France accused of lavish spending and conspiring with Austria. Implicated in scandals, her popularity waned, earning her the moniker Madame Deficit. The revolution abolished the monarchy, leading to her husband's execution and Marie Antoinette's conviction and guillotine execution in 1793. King Henry VIII, a charismatic ruler's six marriages reshaped England's history, sparking the English Reformation to annul his first marriage. Declaring himself supreme head of the Church of England, he severed ties with the papacy, expanding royal power. Henry's reign, featuring figures like Thomas Wolsey and Thomas Cromwell, boosted royal revenue through monastery dissolution. Described as both attractive and tyrannical, his legacy persisted through constitutional changes and military expansions. Julius Caesar Imagine Gaius Julius Caesar as a charismatic political figure in a modern context. Born in 100 BC, he would be a strategic leader, dominating contemporary alliances. His triumphant military exploits, akin to a global influencer, would reshape geopolitical landscapes. Bold defiance of authority, 
paralleling crossing the Rubicon might translate into modern political upheavals. Initiating social reforms, building projects, and creating a new calendar, Caesar's impact would echo through a digitally connected world, leaving an indelible mark on the 21st century. Queen Elizabeth I. Born in 1533, she'd navigate modern politics with trusted advisors. As the Virgin Queen, she might balance diplomacy, evoking her motto, I see and keep silent. Elizabeth's religious tolerance and deft handling of conspiracies would mirror her contemporary approach in our interconnected world. Facing global challenges, she'd maneuver through diplomatic intricacies, echoing her historic resilience in the 21st century. Lady Jane Grey. Born around 1537, she'd navigate modern politics with her excellent education. Married to Lord Guildford Dudley, she might champion progressive causes. Despite her brief reign, Jane's commitment to Protestantism would inspire contemporary movements, leaving an enduring impact in our 21st century world. Suleiman the Magnificent. If Suleiman the Magnificent existed today, picture him as a visionary leader. Born in 1494, he'd shape the modern Ottoman Empire, overseeing economic, military, and cultural heights. His reign, marked by judicial reforms and patronage of the arts, would propel the Ottoman legacy into the 21st century. Mumtaz Mahal. In the modern era, envision Mumtaz Mahal as a revered figure. Born in 1593, she'd be a symbol of enduring love and cultural richness. Married to Shah Jahan, her legacy extends beyond motherhood to inspire contemporary narratives of love and architectural marvels, like the timeless Taj Mahal. Simon Bolivar. In a contemporary context, envision Simon Bolivar as a visionary leader. Born in 1783, he'd be a symbol of Latin American unity and independence. Educated globally, Bolivar's exposure to Enlightenment ideals would fuel his passion for liberating nations. His charismatic leadership and strategic brilliance would inspire movements for justice and sovereignty in the 21st century. Catherine the Great. Born Sophie Friederike Auguste, transforms into a modern leader, navigating the complexities of 21st century politics. Originally married to the neurotic and unconventional Duke of Holstein Gottorp, she rises above adversity, ultimately becoming a strategic and ambitious empress who reshapes Russia's political and cultural landscape. Mark Antony, a contemporary political figure rises to prominence in a modernized Roman landscape. A close ally of Julius Caesar, he forms alliances with Octavian and Lepidus, facing internal conflicts and love affairs. The power struggle unfolds, culminating in Antony's tragic downfall in a tumultuous political arena. Catherine Parr, a modern force, navigates multiple marriages in contemporary society. As a published author and influential figure, she advocates for education and contributes to legislation. Balancing tradition and progress, she forges relationships with her blended family, leaving a lasting legacy even after her untimely demise. Madame de Pompadour. Imagine Madame de Pompadour in our contemporary world. This influential figure, despite health challenges, orchestrates the schedule of a modern leader. As a patron of the arts, she supports architecture and porcelain, while also fostering Enlightenment philosophs. Her impact resonates positively, challenging traditional hierarchies and championing French pride. Louis XIV. Imagine Louis XIV in the present day, his 72-year reign unfolding on the modern stage. This Sun King, a master of strategy, governs through a blend of charisma and power. Louis XIV remains iconic, embracing cultural patronage and advancing scientific endeavors, influencing contemporary society far beyond his time. Elizabeth Woodville. In today's world, envision Elizabeth Woodville as a resilient figure. Born in 1437, she rises from modest origins to become a modern influencer. Marrying Edward IV, their unconventional union sparks both admiration and controversy. Elizabeth navigates family intrigues, ultimately contributing to the end of conflict and the rise of a new dynasty. As we wrap up this fascinating journey through time, envisioning historical icons in our present. Remember, if Shakespeare were alive today, he'd probably be a master of Twitter wit. Thanks for joining, time travelers.